Hello again. This is Shelly Johnson. I'm here with my coach, Steve Bechtel of Elemental Gym. Steve, I was just wondering, since you spend so much time helping clients try to lose fat, where does the fat go? Like, seriously, where does it go? Yeah, well, fat is an interesting thing. It's, it's actually a, one of the primary purposes fat serves is the storage capacity for energy. And so it's basically your body takes in this food, converts it into something that's easily stored, fat, um, and then holds on to it until your body needs it. And recently, like let's say in the last few hundred years, we've gotten a lot better at storing fat than, than in the past. Um, so people tend to store lots and lots and lots more fat than they need. Um, in the old days, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that. No, but but Back early on, hunted and gathered. yeah, hunters and gatherers um, had a, a seasonal fat gain. They would they lose a lot of fat during the summer. They they hunt and gather and, and all those sorts of things, and then naturally put on more fat in the winter um, to help them make it through the lean months. And we've kind of gotten away with that because we've always got food available to us. Um, but people tend to still store fat, then lose it. Store fat, then lose it. Um, but it's metabolized. Um, just through natural processes and so if you eat fewer calories than you um, bring in excuse me if you eat fewer calories than you expend um, you're gonna lose fat and if you bring in more f uh, food than you actually go out and, and get rid of you're gonna you're gonna hold on to it okay so the fat like I've reduced my caloric intake and my fats and I've increased my expenditure right through mm -hmm. exercise so is it and we always like to say it's melting off, you know, the fat right. is melting off. Is it literally like, is, is the fat being um, metabolized after the, I mean, maybe you can explain the metabolic yeah. process. Yeah, bit. so what happens is we, we say, oh, okay, I burned 10 calories, you know, coming up that flight of stairs, or I burned 1,000 calories running. Um, what that is, is that's an approximation of about the amount of work you did. Calories are actually a measurement of heat. And so when you go and you do a whole bunch of work, you, your body uses that amount of energy to do that, that work. And so, like the, a good rule of thumb is the average person will burn about 100 calories a mile, whether they're running or walking. Mm -hmm. And so if you go and you run a mile, you burn that 100 calories, that can either be fueled out of the food in your gut, um, it can be fueled out of the carbohydrate that's stored in your muscles and in your liver, or you can utilize some fat for that. But you're not just gonna boom, burn a bunch of fat by walking down the street. It's, it's really important that you keep your metabolism up, eating, um, keep your activity pretty intense, and that's how that fat actually gets burned. But it's used as a fuel for your normal body processes. Okay, great. So eventually the, the fat that we've stored over time, over poor eating and sedentary lifestyle, eventually that gets chipped away kind of by your furnace? Or by it does, your... it does. And it's like, it's like having, uh, building up, a lot of people talk about it as your body's savings account. I like to look at it like as your body's debt. Like you've, you've gone out and you've partied it up really hard and now you've got all this debt to get rid of. And it's really, really hard to get that number down because your body wants to keep partying it up, wants to keep using all that terrible stuff. Um, and so it's really, it's really tough to, to actually get rid of that stuff that's been hanging on there. That's great.